What's going on, everybody? Doc, Average Gamer, guys, back yet again. More Escape from Tarkov action. And jumping into a little bit of a different video here today. Uh, something that, uh, if it gets some positive comments about and uh, some good views on this, we will continue to do. With the dynamic loot, and probably by the time this goes up, I've talked about or I've posted my dynamic loot discussion video. Um, I thought it would be an interesting kind of test to run to go and do some raids and take a look at some areas that are relatively less hit from a loot perspective so um i'm going to try to focus on one map at a time we may do a couple raids we may do one depending on how these episodes go i want to keep them relatively short and concise but i thought it'd be an interesting thing to just kind of document and show um you know where we can go look for loot and maybe if we end up stumbling on something good uh, to highlight that area as being a good thing or place that you can check. So um, we're going to start out with Shoreline today. We're going to jump in. I'm going to go, you know, moderately geared to these, probably class 4 armor, decent gun, nothing super crazy. Obviously, we want to try to win PvP. We want to try to extract from the map. If that ends up not happening, that's okay. As long as we get an opportunity to take a look, and I'll make sure that I'm in my inventory consistently enough to see kind of the items that we're picking up and obviously talking about it as we go. So... We'll call it kind of the loot hunt uh loot hunt and uh we'll focus on shoreline for this one so uh without further ado let's jump in let's get some raids all right so into shoreline we go i've got one particular spot that i really want to spend some time taking a look at and we did not get the spawn for it that is unfortunate <clears throat> well i'm gonna go over to pier there's certainly a lot of opportunity for us to take a look to try to search some things. Again, I'm 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 gonna say this. I have heard and I do am a believer in the fact that um, hidden stashes are continue gonna continue to be, I think, really valuable until any major changes are done with that. I really recommend at this point doing stash runs. I think it's gonna be really good. So again, we need to check. We just, I think, feel like we need to check around, you know? Look around for things. I've heard, like, wooden boxes seem to be pretty, potentially really valuable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into pier here. Did not get sniped along the way. Also, hopefully, uh, Sandy and the boys ain't here. And I do want to actually get over, and I really want to spend some time checking. Not the sunken village, not the one in the swamp. I want to spend some time checking, uh, checking that other village outside of, uh, outside of, uh, the kind of the wood cabins where Sanitar can spawn. Try to move quick into here. It's gonna be very easy to get trapped in here, but I think dead scavs, these like open loot opportunities, I think are going to be really good. Um, I am take the power bank. Power bank is solid. Certainly spend some time hitting some filing cabinets here. I still think filing cabins are actually going to be pretty solid. Again, you're not going to get anything like majorly, majorly good. Uh, but I think the loot table for these is pretty good. And it's certainly a good way to like top up on some money. Thank you. 
Bonus is if anybody does follow me down here or pushes onto pier, I do actually need to get killed here. So that benefit as well. Let's just take a look around here. So we're going to take that. Take cash. The so safes continue, I think, also to be very, very solid. Okay, to make sure we don't count any beach movement. talk about this really quick it seems like a really odd place to put two toilets like you're, you're touching knees there that's hmm. hey. you do you i guess Again, spend a little bit of time just kind of bouncing around here, taking a look at some probably less looked at areas just to see if we can find anything. should help us here. Not get sniped. Try to move quick. I want to check this hidden stash. Checking the island too would be an interesting place. You know, people have to go over there, so it's it's looted. Probably not as heavily or as consistently as some of these other areas.
I was hearing some sniper shots. Keep moving. There's cottages, which I think is probably also a good spot to continue to spend some time. However, I think the safes there are going to be what continues to make that a good spot to go look. And we'll that right. Somebody's been through there already. So I need to be careful. You could have the same idea I'm having. No, I don't know if this door starts open. Oh, somebody hit all this. So this is what I was hoping to actually loot was this area. Looks like somebody beat me to it. Maybe. Did they just hit a few? Very curious. Very interesting. Maybe they hit it all. Hmm. This was definitely the area I was most interested in checking out. I'm trying to just look and see and listen. This person is still around here. <laughs> yeah, like all these doors are open, which I know is not normal. Absolutely not. Well, dang, that's a searchable jacket, though. What do you got for me? Anything good? Trout, trout. I'm surprised they would hit all this, but not hit the jackets. I don't know if that's worth more or not, but we're going to take it. Key. Key.
The nice part about this area, there is a ton of duffel bags. A ton of duffel bags, ton tons of opportunities for keys. This. Houston going on over there in the swamp area, it sounds like. Zeno's actually probably sell pretty good. Your light right there. Yeah. Maybe they just hit a portion of it. I would definitely have hit this spot. going on with this light flicker. It's so weird. What I'm doing is I'm just looking on the tables, I'm looking on really anywhere to see if there's any additional spawns. The other nice part about this area, tons of tech and like toolboxes, tech crates as well. They really want me to have this Svetorluski key. I took an interesting, guy or gal took an interesting route here. It's like the book these jackets. Here. Uh, yeah, that's really cool. Might actually be more expensive than the Raven. Definitely more usable. Broken LCD, I'm pretty sure. Gas analyzer, so. Interesting vantage point. Hmm. 
I about to die. That's the question. Very clearly that guy ran down here. So you can't get scabs in this area? I just, uh... Most common thing? The weirdest part here is I heard him run and, he's, and then it's just stopped. Very odd. Mm-hmm. Like going. Feels like one of those raids where I'm just gonna get sniped. Just never gonna see the guy. Alright, so you have two hidden stashes here. Check these right quick. Coffee is actually very good. That's over towards. Over towards the swamp area. Ho! Oh. And this, ladies and gentlemen, why you check stashies. Um, yep. 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 And we're gonna leave. Certainly would like to continue to look after a find like that. It's time to go. Holy moly. Well, that worked. <laughs> so nice little raid, 23 minute. We certainly had a lot more to check there. So I think we were pretty well complete with that village. Uh, but the next portion behind it, kind of like the shops area, um, would have been something to continue to look. I do know that there are quite a few toolboxes over there. Some good just like shelf spawn uh, locations. But I think that would have been an interesting place to check. So I would definitely recommend as you move forward, kind of take a similar path, or maybe you get close to that spawn, certainly do some investigation over there. There's quite a few houses and quite a few additional buildings, but um, no action here. We found a whole bunch of stuff, which is great. And that hex grid is huge. 
So here was the loot haul for our quick shoreline run. Again, pretty low geared, and uh, we ended up with a nice hex grid, uh, some ears, I mean, the raven, the shroud shroud, the thermometer. This is actually going to be a pretty solid raid, in addition to a green gunpowder and a power bank. Um, we found some pretty solid stuff, hitting, again, kind of those standard uh, locations where I don't think the loot has necessarily changed super dynamically um you know filing cabinets again were a good portion of uh, a couple of the items and then uh duffel bags jackets uh and uh obviously hidden stashes were really good for us so um hopefully you enjoyed this one uh i think that's a good place to leave this at i do want to keep these a little bit shorter um but uh, i think we'll jump into shoreline again and hopefully we get a close enough spawn that we can hit that entire village hopefully by ourselves what's interesting to me is is that a portion of it was hit um, so what that tells me is that people are certainly looking there, which, you know, could mean that it has some good loot. And um, again, I've heard that it's been, you know, pretty successful for some folks. So obviously I think we got pretty lucky finding this. However, with that being said, I, I you know, I'm going to continue to say that stashes, I think, are going to be a really good option uh, for folks. And to certainly include it in your routes, uh, in your maps, uh, even a few of them. Uh, just to be checking them. Uh, not all of them were great, but uh, the one that was, was really good. So this is, I don't, what are these even selling for at the moment? Yeah, I mean, two, 250, 260-ish, probably full up. Um, so that's that's really solid. And this, this will sell actually really well too, 20-some-odd um, K. So um, really good. So we're certainly going to sell some things. I'm going to hang on to a couple of things, but... I think that was the first good iteration of this. And uh, like I said, we'll definitely go back to Shoreline to check the rest of that out and certainly be spending some time in some other maps uh, as well. Woods is one that I would really like to spend some time doing some searching on. Uh, and hopefully we can uh, do that here in the near future. So I'll close this one out. Quick plug, like, comment, subscribe. Please let me know if you enjoyed this type of video. Uh, and uh, hopefully it's helpful for you. I'm not going to call it necessarily a, a loot guide. I'm going to call it probably loot hunt. Um, but we're going to see if we can be successful with that and just give you some other ideas as far as options, routes, locations, maybe show you some of the actual hidden stashes if you didn't know where they were. So again, uh, let, leave a comment down below. If there's a specific map you want me to spend some time on as well, let me know and we'll see if we can't do that one next. In addition, we do stream over on Twitch Fridays and Saturdays, 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, and then randomly throughout the week in the evenings as well. Links in the description, for both our Twitch, our Twitter, and our Discord. If you want to stay up to date with the channel, even though you're subscribed here and you have that little bell and all that good stuff, we always do posts when we're going live over in Discord. We've got a growing community over there. A lot of people play EFT, a whole bunch of other games as well. And uh, it's just a good place to stay up to date with the channel. So uh, with that, back Average Gamer guys, as always, thanks for watching. And we'll catch you in the next Escape from Tarkov video. Peace.